Hi, my name is Dutch and welcome to my little video here. Today I'm going to show you how to go from Inkscape to Easel, the pick tray project. So I finally got my X-Carve out into the garage after sitting on my desk for a month because it's too cold here in Minnesota to get out there, but I was bound and determined to cut something after staring at that thing. <coughs> Excuse me, staring at it sitting on my desk for a month. It's just a little 500 by 500, but nonetheless I wanted to cut something. So I was cruising around on the Inventables website and I came across this pick tray by Robert Canning and thought, eh, that looks like a good first project to try. Uh, I have friends play guitar and they can always use a pick tray, so or you can throw whatever you want in there, I guess. So after messing around a little bit, that's what I came up with. Something similar but not quite the same. The first thing I did is I went to openclipart.org openclipart.org and search for a guitar. I get them a lot of my clip art here and you can find some other stuff too here so this is a good resource and did a search on guitar and this is the file I chose which is just guitars and I saved it download okay and then I opened up Inkscape well it's already open but I'll get rid of that and I will take the guitar and I'm just going to drag and drop here but you can use the file open menu or whatever you choose to do. Now you'll notice there's a bunch more stuff that w than here than there was that you saw in the preview. Sorry. So anyway I'm going to scroll in and the guitar I'm going to use is this one. Click once, click twice. Well you got to do this fairly quickly to get the guitar. One, two. So now I've got the guitar I clicked about three times but it finally selected the guitar because this is all grouped up and stuff. This is just the easiest way to do it. I'm going to slide that one off to the side and then I'm going to box around the remaining stuff here and I'm just going to box around it, hit delete. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it back to the middle of the page using the control key and the scroll wheel. I'm just going to scroll in. Once I'm there, now I should be able to take this and go path ungroup oops object ungroup excuse me and now you'll notice I have two boxes and I'm gonna get rid of the pick guard by just selecting it and hitting the delete key I'm gonna select the guitar and I'm gonna hit this little red X over here which is no fill which is no fill there you go now I'm gonna zoom in on this top piece here and I'm gonna double click well it's actually a triple one two well, two clicks, two or three clicks, just to get to the note editor mode. Sometimes it's finicky. And I'm going to, and you'll know you're in the note editor mode because you can see the nodes and this one is selected. And I'm just going to box around all of these nodes up here. And you'll see they all got selected. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. And that leaves me with this funky shape. Now I'm going to select those two. Same method. And I'm going to make them a straight line. That's your straight line tool. And now they're straight. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see what we got going on here. And you'll notice I've got three nodes. One, two, three. So I'm going to get rid of one. I'm going to just select that node by clicking on it and hitting the delete key. I'm going to take this one and hold it. And I'm just going to bring it down to scotch till they're about level. Close enough. Now I'm going to select those two again. And I should be able to hold the control key and slide this down. That way you won't go left or right. It just keeps it going in a straight line. I'm going to bring it down to about right there. Scroll out. Scroll back in. And that's going to be the basic shape of our tray. Now I want to reset. we got something else funky going on here. So you never know what you're going to get from the net. And there's always something a little funky. And we got more double nodes here. So I'm just going to go up to go path. First I'm going to try this. Simplify. And that's going to take out some of those oddball ones. And then just maybe tweak it a little bit here. And you'll see these little points come out. A little bit there. But this ain't really going to matter because you're going to be using a quarter inch bit. Or that's what I use to carve this out. So you're not going to see those little minor details when you do a carve. Then I've got my basic shape for my pick tray. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to make sure my lock is locked and I want this to be six inches tall. We'll go with six. And I'm going to hit enter, scroll out, and we'll select that, move it back in the middle of the page. Now I'm going to go to 
object, the fill and stroke menu. There's a couple different ways you can do this. This is just the method I use. So, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the width and I'm going to go 0.25. Oops, 25. And why am I using 25? Because I'm going to use a quarter inch bit, so I'm going to make the line 0.25. And I'm going to hit enter, and you'll see that got real thick. Now I'm going to go up to path, stroke to path. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see not really anything happening. And then I'm going to take this back down and go to the original size it was, which was 0 .007, and hit enter. And you're not going to see anything. Now I'm going to go to no fill, which is the little red X here in the corner. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and click on black. And there you'll see the outline. Now i got one little thing to fix here where it kind of messed up because there was an extra node in there or something. Uh, let me see, what do we want to do with that? You can leave it like that if you want, or you can fix it. No, we can get rid of that node anyway. How about that? We'll get rid of that node. And maybe give it a little bit of a curve. Eh, whatever you want to do. You can mess with it more than you know than I'm gonna do here. Let's give it a nice little round, whatever. So there we go. That looks better. Anyway, now that I have that, you'll notice it's grouped. I'm gonna do path, break apart, and now I have two separate pieces. One, two. And I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to Drawing G1. I've already did this once, so it's going to say, yeah, Drawing G1. After I do that, I'm going to go to Easel, which I already have open, File, Import SVG, G1, Open. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to move it in a little bit so you can see. And I'm going to take this one, and this is going to be a fill, but it's not going to be all the way through. It's just going to be whatever. You set up your fills here and stuff. Here I'm going to do a 3 8 fill. On the outside, yes, I want to use the tabs. It's going to go all the way through, and you can set up your dimensions from there. But that's basically the way you'd get a pick tray. I wouldn't do it in half-inch material, because the material I used in mine was 1 inch. So there, you got a nice one inch thick, and I think I did mine at like three quarters of an inch deep, <coughs> and that's basically how I came up with mine. So I hope you found this uh, useful, interesting, informative. Anything, leave a comment if you have any questions about anything in this video. Please let me know. Until next time, uh, have a good one. Thanks.